Hello friends and welcome to Studio Sundays, where I hang out in the studio, film a video, and then I post it on a Sunday. My name is Paige, I'm an artist, I guess, and I work for a CEO named Blue. <laughs> Today in the studio we're gonna try to make a mushroom bird feeder and yeah that's pretty much all we're gonna do today all right let's get into this stuff all right friends first things first i'm gonna show you my drawing my idea and we'll go through we'll go from there all right bam we're gonna make a piece like this a mushroom stem which the bird seed is gonna go into the birds are gonna perch on it with the little sculpted branches and then we'll have a wire that ties down here and goes all the way up and through this mushroom. So the mushroom will cap on and off to fill with the bird seed. And then we'll have two holes. I'm gonna do some caterpillars, some ladybugs, maybe, you know, just cool free flowing stuff. We get so many goddamn squirrels coming in and stealing our bird seeds. So I'm hoping this will be squirrel proof, but we'll see. So we'll start with the stem. And then we'll go into the mushroom. Alrighty friends, so first we're gonna start with a little bit of my reclaimed clay. We're just gonna start pinching it into a little mushroom stem. That's all we're gonna do. Insert our thumb in there and just start pinching my dudes. That's all you do. Hope everybody's doing well out there in the world. Hope you guys are having a good day. Living large, you know. I'm excited. I hope the birds like this. We get a lot of chickadees around here. They're the only birds that stay here during the winter here in Canada. There's a few ways you can you can make a form like this. I like the pinching method. I also want this to be a wonky mushroom. You know how I do. You guys know. I'm just going to use my pin tool here to cut the rim off to make way for the rest of the stem. Smooth it out with a sponge. I think I'm just going to put this to the side and make the rest of the stem and then attach it. Boop. So I'm gonna go get some clay and we're gonna roll out a slab to build the rest of the stem. I'll be right back. All right, friends, we're just gonna wedge this out. So it's reclaim and golly gee, there's a lot of air pockets in here. All right, we got our ball of clay here and we got a rolling pin here and we're just gonna roll these out. Roll this bad boy out. There's still some air pockets in here, so we just pop like this. I don't know if this is enough clay. Uh, smooth it out with a sponge. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this with a ruler and whatever this is. Okay, so we got some straight edges here. And we got ourselves a square. We take our square and we press it together. And let's test it on our, I think this is too friggin' thin. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should have measured that. Like, I want it to be more like this. We have a giant, a giant gap here. So you know what we do? We try again, my friends. It's uh, round two, round two. All right, friends, we got a bigger square. Bam. I feel like I might have to let this dry a little bit, but we got more room to play with here. All righty. Still a little bit too big at the bottom, but I think we could just fill that up with a slab. Let's let the bottom and the stem dry over here. And while we're waiting for those to dry, so let's work on the mushroom cap. I'm gonna roll out a slab and then I'm gonna place it on this plaster form to dry out a little bit. Yeah, I think this is a good size. So let's roll out that slab and put this guy on it. Put that guy, put the slab on that guy. The slab on, on the, the mold. All right, we wedge in, we wedge in. All right, we roll in, we roll in. All right, my dudes, we got our slab rolled out for the mushroom top. Now we just put the slab on the mold. Boom. We shape it a little bit, give it a little shape. I'm just gonna take my pin tool again and I'm going to trim off the excess here. Just stop this a little bit there. All right. Boop. Cut off the the excess again. Just gonna give it a little bit of a sponge here. Let me flip it upside down again. Bam. I'm just gonna smooth it out with my little ruler here. And if you're interested in knowing how I made this plaster mold, 
I literally just poured plaster into a bowl. Now that we have our mushroom cap here, I think we're just gonna have to let it dry. All right, my dudes, while we're waiting for those to dry, let's check in and see what the Dewey Daily is today. Dewey does not have rabies. He got stung by a wasp yesterday. Here's some photos. And I'm happy to report that he's doing a lot better today. He's feeling, he's feeling good. All right, my dudes, we back. Um, stem is a little bit stiffer, a little bit drier, which is nice. So now I think we should form our cylinder a little bit. I've just overlapped these. I'm just gonna cut away the excess. Bam. All right, now I'm just gonna take this tool and I'm gonna score these edges like so. Add a little bit of slip and then pop them together. All right, we got her scored, so we will add a little bit of a coil. All right, this is proving a little difficult, but we're trying our best, my, my sweet dudes, my sweet, sweet dudes. Just trying to get in the inside here. I'm just gonna sponge it. Boom. Just watch me struggle, that's all. Flip it over. Bam. Clean up that crevice. Trying our best, guys. Might be safe for the birdies. Birds deserve quality. Qu quality. Bam. Shapey shape. Here's our stem, our little crooked stem. I think I still want to wait for it to dry a little bit before we attach it to the bottom of the stem. So let's just put it to the side over here. And let's bring out the one I made yesterday. No, oh, that's not what I do here. We are back, my dudes. We got our stem parts here. Let's start attaching. Just gonna score this a little bit here. I think the smart thing to do, which I just thought of, is going to be, since this is the heavier piece, I'm going to flip this, bam, and attach this to here, because I'm a genius. Genius I am. Score the top of this. Add a little bit of my murky water, a little dab, and then we will attach, bam. Let's put this on a thing first. Am I right? Am I right? Putting this on a thing. Bam. Roll out a coil here. I usually work pretty soft because I'm a big softie, so it never seems to dry fast enough or it's too dry all of a sudden. It's like, what's going on? So let's add this coil here. Just wait for it to dry, Paige. Why don't you just wait for it to dry? And to that I say, I don't know. I might wait for it to dry, actually. <laughs> Well, let's wait for it to dry a little bit more, and then we will be back. All right, well, let's hear a message from our very own CEO, Blue. As you can see, she works very, very hard, that one. Well, you think I'm the only one that does anything around here? You'd be wrong. Blue does a lot. She, she, uh, she tells me that anyways, you know. All right, my dudes, change of plan here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all of the pieces aside, let them dry for a few days, really set up so we can attach all the pieces and start adding some details in the next episode. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me in the studio today. I really appreciate it. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves and each other. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Spin. Sit. Shake. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm going to say goodbye to all your friends.